Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Luis and in this video I'm going to review this 4K TV from Toshiba model 43QA4C63DG. Okay, as you can see it's an Android TV 4K and the video will be really long because I will try to cover everything so if you are looking for a 4k tv and you don't really know if this toshiba is the one you 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 want to buy so this i think this will be a, a good review because i will show everything from the menus i will also show you how you can install uh, some apps that you cannot find in, in Google Store and I will do some video testing with uh, different codecs I will access from my network attached storage some some videos so uh, the video again will be really long because I will do uh, several tests I, I will try to show you almost everything okay so first things will be the the unboxing um, and I will be also mounting the, the feet and so let's do it regarding the specs uh, they will be passing through the your screen so I will mention some things during the the video but uh, all the specs I copied from the PDF file uh, from Toshiba website so I hope it's complete so inside the box you can find uh, the TV a bag with the remote control the manual some screws the, f the feet and the batteries yeah it comes with batteries for the remote and that's how you should unpack your TV with the screen down also try to use a pair of gloves uh, avoid finger tips on the screen because they will stick there okay so these are the connections on the back side here the model so 3 HDMI two USB ports uh, TV cable connector also satellite con uh, receiver and I think it also has PVR that part of the PVR I will not test so this is the, the, the button it's just uh, just power it's not like a joystick that you can push left and right up and down no so this is the remote with some dedicated keys like Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video and Google Store okay also ready to operate so it comes as I told you with two batteries included in the package okay so the feet both are marked left and right so really easy you just have to screw and that's it because it's try to to respect the the left and the right that's that's why they mark it to avoid mistakes okay really easy Regarding the the the, car, car, the the specs, so 4K HDR, Ultra HD, so it's an Android TV with uh, Google, with Dolby Vision, with true resolution, true micro dimming. The sound is by Onkyo. Of course, it has Google Play Movies and TV. It has Google Play built-in Chromecast so you will be able to cast from your smartphone DTS HD 
Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video. True resolution automatically upscales non 4K content so you can experience your favorite movies and TV shows in the highest res resolution. So that means if you are playing a video HD like 720p, it will upscale to the the full uh, monitor, okay, and will try to to perform better, okay, without we notice the pixelization because it will uh, upscale, okay. True micro dimming enhances the contrast of an image by optimizing the darker and brighter regions to create a more realistic image. The sound by Onkyu, working with collaboration with Onkyu, a global force in audio, Toshiba is bringing TV to life with enhanced sound quality. Tuned by Onkyu engineers, the speakers are designed to ensure life, like precise sound that can be heard equal well from any seat in the room. Uh, Okay, so about the Google Play, I already spoke about it, the Chromecast, the TTS HD and all the applications. So regarding the Broadcasting Turner, HE, it's uh, compatible with HEVC, a decoder, or, so I'm talking about the codec H265 and I will do tests about it. The Turner, the Turner type, it's HD DVB. T2, C and S3, ok, Ultra HD from Satellite, yes, Dual Tuner, no, and EP EPG, yes, Auto Search, yes, Program Capacity for Analog, 200, Program Storage Capacity for um, Digital, 10,000, Program Storage Capacity Digital and Terrestrial, 1000 plus 1000 okay so as you can see the first boot uh, we have to log in with a, a gmail account so i will not hide this gmail because i only t i only use it for for videos and stuff like that so if you want to contact me by that mail i don't i don't mind you can use it so don't need to explain again so the the UI and the system operation of this TV is Android and if you are completely completely out of smart TVs why should you choose an Android TV because the offer of the applications it's huge okay so if you buy a, a TV with the web OS the, the, the the available applications are really less compared okay and you already know how to work with Android because probably you add or you have a smartphone so it's the same but now you can use it on your TV that means that you can send pictures movies and audio to your TV and you can install a lot of applications okay so it's really really nice it comes loaded with a lot of applications that you can remove or keep it okay so uh, as the the first installation detected that with this email I also use stream you and some others it was already included in my downloaded list so I had the option to decide if I wanted to keep those or remove okay so as you can see we can search by bluetooth uh, devices to pair like uh, headphones or speakers in your house and also we can use the the mic on, on the remote control to do searches and this for now or it's the problem it's me or it's the remote because I didn't quite uh, get uh, good results with that so probably the accent I am not an English 
born so my English could be a really a bit different for for Google to understand or sometimes I, I, I push the button and it doesn't happen so yeah that that part it's uh, fr until now that's the only part I don't I didn't like so much because I, I also have the Amazon stick and it works really well when I push the, the voice button and do the searches go for the apps I, I tell them and it works really well so with the, 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 the remote that comes with the TV I didn't I, I couldn't get so 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 good results but I will try also a, another remote that I will show you later in the video and it works really well okay so um, I'm installing VLC it will be part of the test because this application if you don't know it it's mandatory you should have it because it, it can read from your home network so if you are sharing a folder in, in your Windows PC or in your Mac or in your Linux you can find the, the folder in your network so right now I have a network attached storage so a computer I built with some hard drives inside I have a video about it if you want to know more where do I keep my files my movies my family movies pictures music uh, my backups everything and as I'm showing you I can read from my TV using VLC okay so it's really really good you should have it so if you have a, an Android device VLC is mandatory because it's it's it can read all the formats okay so we are now making a, a test this is 4k reading from my network network attached storage and the quality is huge it's really really good I like the color saturated but uh, yeah we can change the there are some picture styles on a TV I will show you later but out of the box it's it's really really nice as you can see okay so I have the TV in front of this one this is my old HD 1080p TV and as you can see it's the same size but without the bezel so it looks smaller but in fact the screen it's 42 also so it's the same size but the frame makes the difference and it's a lot less uh, it's, it's it's thinner okay yeah that's evolution because the the, 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 the TV on the background um, probably has 15 16 years okay uh, about the lights on the background I also have a video about it it's a year light LED strip and I can change colors from my mobile and also talking to the, the Google device okay um, and it's it's really nice when watching a movie or a series a TV show to have the, that light on the background uh, really really nice okay so this is 4k it's um, I believe it's a Matroshka file from my network attached storage and as you can see we can do forward it's really fast reading and remember I have uh, it's 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 working on Wi-Fi so if you have the chance always connect by Ethernet because it's more reliable faster even if you have a Wi-Fi really fast the cable will be always faster it it will it will give you the the total speed from your provider okay not less uh, and now I will try to read also some files that normally I use on my TV box reviews so this is the jellyfish files using the H H265 uh, codec HEVC codec and from the NAS this is reading from the NAS it's not it's not working as you can see I selected the the less 
it it's it works but it it needs time to to buffer so but it's unwatchable uh, so yeah I will do the test uh, from the flash drive yeah but the, the TV is is cable from the specs it says it, it can read HEVC codec H265 okay but from my NAS and I told you it depends on your on your router on your Wi-Fi um, but for me yeah, it no it's not working okay so I will continue the tests now with another files with codec uh, 264 so I will change and remember I'm reading from the network attached storage and now we will try some okay I will jump not 1080p 60 frames per second should read without issues And boom, yeah, huge quality, no buffering, everything really nice, okay? And this is the goal of having a smart TV, to be able to, to, watch, to watch some streams, some IPTV, to stream from your computer, to stream from your network attached storage, to to stream from Plex so yeah let's try now one 4k 30 frames per second from the network attached storage and it also works really well without issues Uh, just to say so no uh, talking about the price so um, I would so this is my first TV my first 4k TV and it's it's not meant to replace this one on my living room because I want one bigger with probably 65 or more uh, so I wanted this one smaller because I will I will put it in a small bedroom and also i will i want to try it as a computer monitor and to, to check how it works so i don't want it to buy a big tv about the price normally the price is up 400 euros but i i got a promotion an offer and i bought it by three I bought it for 320 more or less so yeah good price really really good price I'm really happy because with this smart TV you don't need to use TV boxes anymore you don't need to use TV sticks so it just plug and play <laughs> you just press the button is ready so your Netflix is ready your Amazon is ready your YouTube is ready everything is ready also to be able to, to to give voice commands it's really nice so and to be able to to have a lot of applications available to install and customize so this is this launcher it was installed by me and so it's TV launcher and you can Put some apps that you if you normally install will not appear or you don't have spaces on the top bar you can put on that launcher okay so some apps that you see here didn't come with the, the TV by default so RTP VLC stream you were not here or they they were uh, installed by me okay so we are able to to change the the tv name okay i will not do that here in the channel you can uh, access per parental controls so if you want to block some some stuff here your account the applications so this is like your your smartphone 
with everything you can access okay it doesn't do phone calls because it doesn't have an antenna for that but the software some parts are the same so device preferences let's check if there is some update to do nothing right now so uh, we hope that uh, we have updates for at least three years because we know uh, we know that the brands normally after three years they they quit updating for you just to buy a new device but uh, even though they don't update from three years from now I know that there will be plenty of applications to to install okay so if we press several times here in build it will unlock the developer options that will give you permission to to install applications out of the the store otherwise you can't okay so that's how you unlock developer option and I will I, I will install some some applications out of the Google Store uh, just to show you how it is done so internal storage 4 gigs 4.6 gigs it's not much but you have two two USB that you can use as storage so you can change the language the keyboard and here the inputs we can customize so imagine that you have the the cable TV on HDMI one you can rename it to your service provider if you have a, a PlayStation or a Xbox you can rename because we can do a custom name so it's easier when searching for the right connections if you change the name it will be really nice also we can select for without touching the TV it will switch off and of course we can change all the other stuff like gamma sharpness hue, color blah 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 also advanced there are some tweaks we can change I will ah important here if you want to use it as a PC or game if you have a PlayStation or Xbox or if you want to connect the PC to game on it um, you have probably better to, to, to select those options but remember this is not a 120 Hz TV so it's it's not meant for real action like CSGO and games like that or fast moving games because it, it will lag okay yeah you it's not the same of having a, a, a monitor of uh, 144 Hertz or 120 Hertz okay so it's not it's not meant for games so if you are buying exclusive for games probably this is not the model you're looking for so uh, be, be sure to check the Hertz before you buy that TV okay so continue with the, all the options we can change a lot of stuff and if you do something wrong you can always reset and start from from the beginning so yeah uh, if you enable the developer options please don't change anything that you don't know what you're doing because yeah that menu is hidden for a reason because if you have kids and they mess with that you will be and they if they turn on or off something that really needs to be untouched and then you have to reset your TV okay so be be careful with that so if you have kids perhaps you can uh, tell them at least don't mess with that menu okay so I think I have covered all the the options here so we also can customize how the 
which which channels to show on the on the on the screen so if you want netflix at the bottom and youtube at the at top you can switch that so this is the application i use to to move stuff to uh, a smart box or in this case a smart tv so use this application go to pc file transfer and it will give you an ip address you go to your pc in your browser you access that ip address you do upload of, of the applications and then you come here again to the downloads folder and the applications will be there you just need to click and then you 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 select to install and for the first time the tv will tell you that uh, this application it's not it's not um, authorized to do installations that is why we have opened the developer options to be able to install from another application so we will give access to file commander and i will install iptv smart because if you search this one on google store at least on this tv i couldn't find it so perhaps in in i don't know if in a smartphone it will show it will show some difference but this one was not there so yeah um i went to apk mirror i downloaded the apk file and i used this method i explained you so you enable the browser option you go to your computer or your smartphone and you do the upload and then you install okay now we are going to add here the option to access that application so i will select it's here and we are also able to switch position so if i want to put it up just uh, click and hold the, the button and then move for the desired location and press again and that's it so really nice to have this tv launcher and really really nice so if you are enjoying the the video so far don't forget to to leave a like if you have some questions you can also leave a comment and i will try to reply to everybody um so now i will show you a game yeah of course you know, we can game on this tv but uh, for this one we can play with the remote it's really easy because it's only left right and some 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 action with the the middle button but uh, for the more more advanced games with more options probably the best is to 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 pair a bluetooth remote or a keyboard to the west usb cable and, and play the game yeah and it plays really well and the colors everything amazing the sound really really nice and yeah i i tried to 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 use the remotes i have here at home and they didn't work so but i i'm not a, a real gamer myself so i'm not worried about that so if i want to to play games i have uh, an xbox or i play on my computer the tv will be for for streaming and for movies and tv shows and youtube and blah 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 gaming also gaming but not so much okay yeah that's it you can you can play games really they they run really well so but please try to to get a, a remote and really really nice so this is actual tv from my cable service and and so i will try to to show you all the menus from the tv regarding the part of watching tv also something that i didn't tell you so um i don't connect the the tv to the antenna of the building because i have a, a tv box from a provider so that is why in the video at the beginning he didn't found any channel okay because i didn't connect the cable yeah but i have some some channels that i can i can i can i can 
put in the, in the in the TV, but I, I will not because I have the the box. So I normally use the box. I just select HDMI one or two and I go directly. Okay. So those were the options on the TV to switch from some picture styles, the sound, blah blah blah. Several options. This this remote, this remote is it doesn't come with the, the TV. It's just a remote IF that works like a um, it, it has a gyroscope you see so it's really 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 nice this is really cheap I have a video about it with thousands of views because there is in fact a lot of people searching for this remote and it's really cheap probably five or six euros I don't remember and it works really well as you can see it's really really it's one of my best buys I don't regret, regret at all and as you can see also works without the, the the mouse pointer you can work it like the buttons and also the the microphone works really well so if I speak to the remote it will work perfectly really really well so I recommend this 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 remote if you don't know it the uh, if you don't know this remote uh, have a look at my video uh, because I explained deeper and probably I have there the link where uh, this is from Aliexpress okay so Big work, funny. yeah so I, I'm using the, the voice command on this remote you see and so I was searching for a video on on YouTube and you see the, the, the pointer you just need to it's like a flashlight you just need to point and it works really well okay so YouTube is really fast um, when, when I was recording this video I didn't re I didn't realize it was on 1080p not 4k um, so this this part here is uh, I will put the, the the stats and you can see I only realized this when editing the video that it was not uh, showing in 4k but I believe it, it plays 4k also really well <laughs> it was prepared for that so yeah so the, the, the experience is really nice so until now I'm really glad with this purchase Of course you can cast from your smartphone so as you can see you just need to to press cast and it's really fast and again the quality is good really good okay so now I'm going to to test the reading from a flash drive so first before this flash drive I, I tested uh, an hard drive I have with some files and it was not detected or it was detected but I couldn't see any files so this one it was formatted in the TV and then I moved the flash again to my computer and I put some files inside and I will show you that it works really well so you can read some audio files this is a, an mp3 file you can read photos videos and text the text one I didn't I didn't do any test because I will not use for sure the TV to, to read some test I will do that on my smartphone on, on a tablet on a computer not in my TV okay so yeah let's change now to videos okay it was not meant to come out let's go in again so photos boom this is it's, it works really well by the way if you are enjoying my video and uh, you are still here 
please consider to subscribe the channel it will make a difference to me and I will it will push me to continue to make movie uh, videos and reviews and stuff like that okay so these are some files I recorded with my 4k camera the one that is recording this video a Sony a6400 that performs really well and the quality on the TV is really good so now I'm going to shut up this is a small video just for you to see the quality of the screen and those images are mine so I will get back one or two minutes from now and we will finish the review okay now I'm going to test the files remember those files those H265 files HEVC files that were not running from my network attached storage they run pretty well from from the from the TV but some here they yeah though there are some with the higher higher bitrate that uh, they lack okay yeah but we will try another media player because I don't like this one that comes uh, in the installed with the TV it's not good because I, I, we will run the same files with Cody and some will run perfectly well so yeah I don't trust this this media player anymore I will not use it for sure I will use VLC or Cody and this was just for the video review so let's go to to Cody just to make the the test okay so in Cody I have my me my video my movie library from my network attached storage so I just had to to show him which folder and then tell Cody that this that contains movies movies inside and it it went to to the web and downloaded 
automatically all the covers, all the thumbnails, okay? So Cody, it's really, it's a good, a, a excellent media center and I used to do tutorials about it, I don't do anymore because YouTube doesn't like so much Cody. It's, it's like, it's not well considered within the YouTube platform. Okay, so now I'm running the same files from Cody and okay so it was it was doing some buffering for the first read but then it starts and it plays really well with no issues also it, it's really really nice okay so let's change now to 200 and it reads well no issues so the TV is perfectly ca capable of playing this kind of file so the, the ones with more more megabits yeah it's normally you will not find some files like that but if you encode the files yourself and you decide to put those uh, this one is the one that yeah the, it, it it struggles to read this one the 400 megabits overall the tv i'm really happy with this purchase by for 300 euros more or less i got a excellent device and i it's it it can do all that i need access my files over my network play some movies from Netflix, from Streamio, from Kodi, from Amazon, so I will be served for several years for sure, I will, I will be able to access thousands of applications from the, the web and from the store, so I'm really happy, I hope you enjoyed this review, it was too long I know, but if you are willing or thinking of buying this TV, I believe it will provide some good intel about it so don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed and i catch you on a new one thank you